Hey, happy Wednesday. It's Wednesday. Um, so, did not get on here yesterday, but that's okay. We're going to do two things at once because they're fairly similar. Um, the, what I was going to talk about today was um, feed stuffs, nutrient labels. We've kind of covered that last week with the sheep. It's not that much different. Feed labels are pretty much the same. So, if you want to go back two weeks, I kind of went in depth on feed labels. Look those up. Um, otherwise, what I was going to really talk about specifically yesterday was feed options for cows. So ruminants in general are excellent nutrient up cyclers. What this means is they take something that's basically inedible to humans, we can't get a lot of nutrients out of, they take it and they turn it into a high quality protein that we can is very easily digestible. He wants to say hi. Um, so, and a lot of these areas, um, the argument a lot of times is, well, we could just turn all the grassland into crop ground and grow food for people. That's all the problems. Not exactly. Because most of the ground that is still left in pasture is not farmable. Okay? So somebody's got to graze it. Um, and by managing it with cows, that's a whole nother discussion, honestly. We'll save that for another day. So, cows, what do they eat? They prefer grasses. Um, if you remember last week, sheep prefer the broadleaf weeds. So cows are gonna go through, they're gonna pick out the best grass first. And then, go put it in the egg basket. Um, then, if they have to, they'll start eating the other stuff. So what we do, standing behind me here, is actually the cornfield. We just pulled cows off of this field today. So, um, again, I talk about this tomorrow in the blog. We'll talk about it more. If you have access to year-round grass, this, that is by far the easiest method to feed cattle. Um, doesn't matter the kind. You can get a steer fat on good grass. The problem is a lot of people, especially if you're looking at the smaller homestead ranges, you don't have enough grass to run a cow year round. That's just reality, that's the fact of life. So what do you do then, okay? If you're looking specifically just for maintenance, um, a cow on hay will do fine. If you live next to a cornfield, I live in the middle of crop country. Um, we don't have pasture. We're surrounded by very fertile crop ground. So in the wintertime, our cows actually run out on the stalks. They clean up all the forage, all the down grain out there. There's not much left of it. You can actually see some green coming up. That's actually rye, volunteer rye from last year. So they clean all that up all winter long. We rotate them across the fields. Then um, they'll actually, we've got a small pasture, we'll run them by. And then um, a lot of times we actually feed them a TMR. So a TMR is called a total mix ration. It has hay, sometimes it has some silage, some sort of roughage in it. Remember last week we talked about how roughage is critical to ruminants, to keeping the bacteria in their gut fed and healthy, which keeps the animal healthy. So then with that, they also get a little bit of um, some carbs, some protein, usually in the form of some kind of distillers or soybean meal. Um, if you're down in the south, you can get cottonseed meal. Uh, I'm trying to think of the other byproduct stuff. Um, if you're next to a brewery, you can get brewer's grains. That's really good protein, not a lot of starch. Um, and then a lot of times we'll get some sort of grain mixed in with it. So corn, milo, something. Cows are very good at upcycling and reusing pretty much anything you can think of. All right, if you don't have a big feed truck, you don't have a lot of cows. That seems like a lot of work, right? It is. If you don't are not running a lot of cows, that's way too much work. If you just have one or two cows, you just got the family cow, you got maybe, um, we're talking beef cows, not milk cows here. You got maybe the one cow that you've got around just to get a calf out of her every year to put in your freezer, right? It's a two year cycle, but whatever. We'll go into that more later. What do you do for her? Hay, prairie hay. Some sort of alfalfa, because she might need a little extra protein at some point. She's probably gonna be good, honestly. For that steer or that heifer calf or whatever you're fattening, the old timers used to call it the John Deere diet. Green alfalfa, 
yellow corn. It's the easiest way to go and they will get fat on it. Um, but yeah, that's your easiest way to feed them on a, if you just have one or two head.